Hello, welcome back to IT Lendy Naked Course uh, Active Directory Federation Series. So far, we have covered uh, farm rules, topologies, still module 2, firewall consideration, HA, load balancing, certificate, requesting certificate, distributing the certificate. For today, we're going to cover something new, which is adding the KDS root key for group managed account. So what do we need to do? To add the KDS root key for group managed service account, recommendation to use group managed service account for ADFS. Group managed service account requires at least 2012 AD schema, at least domain controller 2012 and KDS root key in AD. This requirement for uh, at least one domain controller is not that straightforward. No, there are two types of action involving in the group manage service account. Maybe you are familiar with GMSA. It's creating and administrating this group, granting the ADFS server to the account, consuming the GMSA as well. Now, we mentioned first. ADFS has actually need to talk to 2012 and higher domain controller. Lower is not possible to handle GMSA. And uh, there was a case in the past where uh, installing a farm and not encountering, issue, encountering issues with ADFS was talking to lower DC. This is what I've seen. For the second is ADFS, you know, uh, can talk to lower level domain controller without problems, but note that adding the KDS root key is not effective until 10 hours after you know, executing the command to allow replication. Now, to work around this issue, you need to run some PowerShell command you know, for this delay. This command is add hyphen KDS root key have an effective time then you open brackets get the date dot add hours and you can do minus 10 hours okay this is to work around these issues next we have installing your first server let's install it because this is straightforward topic all that you need to do is you do it via the as we mentioned earlier it's a add remove roles from Windows Server. So you go to the uh, Server Manager using add roles from features, select Active Directory Federation Services, and then click Next. You will need to specify the certificate which you obtained, either we mentioned earlier, SAS certificate, or you know if you are worried about cost, you can go for wildcard certificate. We should take care of all the names, even device registration certificate as well. And you specify the server name. Next, if you're going to use GMSA, we mentioned that earlier, you can use GMSA, specify the name. Next, you need to create a database either using SQL or Windows internal. We're going to go for SQL Windows internal database rather than SQL. If you use SQL, then you need to specify the instance name and the host name. This is the fastest, simplest deployment of first farm using Windows internal database, okay? We mentioned earlier we need to care about DNS. So DNS is really important. So what I need to do with DNS? The ADFS farm, if you recall earlier, we mentioned the internal users need to speak to the VIP of my internal farm. External need to go to the WAP proxy. So the load balancer IP I need must resolve to, sorry, the ADFS must resolve to the IP of the load balancer or the ADFS itself if you go single machine uh, do a record do not do c name c name will create kerberos issues please do pay attention to this one and last is if you deploy the server with web application so what we do similar to the previous one i go to uh, server manager add roles. This time, if notice, number three is Active Directory Federation Service. This time is remote access. You can see on the right hand side of that screen, 
you can do VPN, you can do direct access, you can do WAP. So we're going to do only the WAP. Click next, select only the WAP application, no routing, no uh, RAS. If you are after auto VPN, ta -ta -ta, then you can use these options. And then after specifying this option, you need certificate. The certificate we mentioned earlier, uh, you need to be installed. You specify the back end of your federation servers. With the same account, you, you install the server. So that would need to be admin account. Then, why we need this one? Because we need to establish the trust between the WAP and the firm. If you are happy, select the certificate, validate, and voila, you are in. Now, let me summarize this section. We learned about a data certificate, requesting certificate, distributing the certificate, adding uh, KDS root, installing the ADFS farm, adding DNS, and the last part, install the web application proxy, and establishing the trust. Straight forward, and that was the last part of module 2. So, quick recap to module 2. This is what we covered on module 2. If you remember earlier, we spoke about the farms, rules, Topology, HA consideration, firewall consideration, load balancer, certificate. Then we spoke about requesting certificate, distributing certificate, then KDS. Then you install the farm and you install your DNS, sorry, the WAP, and then set up your DNS. Hopefully you have learned something useful on module 2, and I shall see you on module 3 of Active Directory Federation services that will be like you know now troubleshooting and other options. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.